Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Bob, we're going to reveal secrets on how to live longer. Now, this is not by me, but this is by someone who lived 110 years old, and he's amazing. We're going to go through some details and tell you his secrets in just a minute. Okay, Bob, uh, once again, uh, reading the book by Mark, Dr. Mark Kukazella on Run for Your Life. On our podcast. Yep. And the book is, the title's a little misleading to me because it's about running, but half the book is about just being healthy. Yep, I brought that up to him. So. Yep, so it's a wonderful book. Uh, regardless of that, uh, his neighbor, Dr. Kukazilla's neighbor, yeah, right. lived to 110 years old. So Mr. Frank Buckles, I right, love the name. Right, exactly. Uh, so Dr. Mark, and we can call him Dr. Mark, right? Yeah, I, He's fine yep. with that. He liked Mark, actually. Yeah, so he... Uh, he talked to him and got to know this man over the years of living by him and the history of this guy. Just listen to this. Amazing. He, was the, he, he died. He was the last survivor in the United States of World War I. Yes. Uh, in World War II, he was a four-year internment camp, uh, which is kind of like a prisoner. I, don't, sure. I didn't get into the details of that, but one thing that did occur, they fed him one cup of food per day. That's it. Right. And, wow. and Dr. Mark feels that that was part of his reason for his long, longevity because Why he, he so long. became so efficient in his digestive system. Right. What, whether that's true or not, we don't know. Uh, he did morning calisthenics every day into his 90s. A lot of research backs this up. Yes. You know. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm saying this is just inc including standing on his <laughs> head until he was... I can't his, do that now. I, I, I tried it. I can kind of do it, but I got to balance against the yeah, wall. Sure. I was going to do it for the intro, and I decided not to. He drove a farm tractor to 103. He quit farming at 105, wow. and he slowed down as a result of a traumatic brain, brain injury. injury. He got hit in the head by a piece of farm equipment, and he thought it was time probably to slow still down. still be wrong otherwise. <laughs> Uh, the only medication he ever took consistently, and th this was only when he needed it, was ibuprofen. He'd go to the doctor, wow. they'd, they'd prescribe meds, and he would Forget it. throw them in garbage. <laughs> I don't recommend don't that. Don't do that. Yeah, that's not... Don't uh, do that. Right. So, All right. Uh, you know, when I saw this and I read this, to me it was just inspiring and to see everything yeah. that the human body can go through, and there's so much of it, by his three rules. Gotcha. Uh, and th none of these are big surprises. These are think. Mr. Buckles' right. three rules. Number one, you must stress the body. Right. In other words, he's not talking about emotional stress. He's right. talking about exercise. Exercise, And yes. that's why he did his calisthenics. Uh, and we talk about exercises all the time. Right. That's our whole channel is about. Yeah. Uh, number two, never be in a hurry. Right. This is the one I have to work on. Yes, you do, Brad. <laughs> uh, so stay relaxed. I do not think of Brad as being relaxed. I'm getting better, yeah. Bob. I'm getting yeah. better. I'm going to start taking up fishing this yeah. year. There we go. Haste makes waste, you yeah. know. And I've I've done waste a lot of waste from my haste yes. <laughs> over the years. Uh, and number three, don't worry. There are more books written on the effects of stress on the body. Yeah. Chronic uh, stress. Yeah, it can just tear you apart. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. Uh, so these and are things I I'm like to think, saying, Brad, 90% yeah. of what you worry about never happens. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, things come and pass, and you say, right. What did I get all, I know. all cramped up well, about? Exactly. You know, my brain sometimes exactly. you get a headache and blah, blah, blah. So this is what I'm going to ask. Bob and I are going to ask of the viewers. Yes. We would like you to write down in the comment section if there is any rules, any advice, advice, things that has helped you throughout the years to stay, stay healthy. Yeah, we probably got some people that are watching or here. Or maybe heard from your grandparents. Right, you exactly. Know, Little the, uh, words uh, of wisdom. Right. And we can all learn from this, grow yep. from it, and we're going to have thousands of little sayings. Comments. Perhaps. Comments. Right. Yeah. What is that? All right. Pearls? Pearls of wisdom. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, so Pearls sonnet of and sentences or something. <laughs> Forget it. Oh Just my God. write down something. Something happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.